Greetings from the farm. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining us again here on the Mondo Farms channel. We're talking onions again. And one of the things about life is that some people have families where in each in the family there's a guy or a girl who's always giving the family the parents problems. He's up to this or that, he, exams, school, behavior, all sorts of things. Here at Mondo Farms Winterthorn, it's this guy. This guy. This is our red creole onion crop that we planted during the rainy season and it's been a problem so today we're going to just check on how things are going stay with us So a quick recap, we always start with a crop poster when we can. And here it is showing us that we've got a Starkair's Red Creole Onion and it was originally sown in the uh, end of November 21, transplanted in middle of February. And I hope you've seen our other video, the one that uh, talks about the challenges that we had with this one. But as I look around, I think everything is pretty much okay. It's always going to be a problem crop, this one. Um, our first ever time to plant uh, during the rainy season. But I think, uh, no, I think we're okay. We're okay. There are problems in the world and I have a lot of problems in different areas, but this is not a problem uh, per se. So we're expecting our next harvest uh, from this particular crop. Uh, maybe in the next month or so, we should be getting some neck fall very, very, very soon. Taking a great good pan around. If you remember our geography here at Dubai, we've got block A on this side, um, block B over there, just behind where the guys are uh, sitting standing. Uh, C is on the other side of the road, and of course, D over there with some very good looking crops in that section. So generally we have a mature crop that's just about to start bulbing um or oh, maybe has started bulbing a little bit of bulbing here and again we're using the word bulbing quite a lot um but let's take a very quick look back at time over the last couple of weeks months and see how this crop has actually been looked after throughout this time dubai block a This spring, nimbe side for insects. Kashta mixed in a sap for fungicide. So we're here at Dubai, Block uh, A, where the guys are doing the weeding. My lines, eh? then I'm a bed. And uh, we are here as well to monitor the growth of our plant and scout for pests and diseases. So far, on this side of the field, the, the growth is amazing compared to the first part there, where we are still having um, uh, improvement. They are growing, but not as uh, fast and rapid as these ones from this side. So we'll go there and have a look at them too and see the difference. So looking at it from here, our onions are looking good and we are happy that they're looking this good. The ground is moist, 
and uh, the vegetative growth of the plant is amazing. We're just two fighting sweeps. You see them from here. Look at them. These little black black things. He's spraying up a make it Things are hella small. So like this guy here. But in general, it's these how many beds? Uh, I would say 55. Yeah. Yeah, but the rest of the you can use it to help with uh, the leaves. Ah, great. So it's the best one. So we were talking about the issue of uh, <coughs> the spray. So when they attack, leaves kill like this this is the damage that we do mm -hmm. and the leaves kill yeah because yeah. they suck out the thing the strength yes so yeah. they hide underneath here so if you guys experience it just come it's like the film umbrella yeah so more systemic systemic chemicals would help because if they are sucking they're gonna suck chemicals and they're gonna die mm -hmm. yeah The last chemical we put again, it was abamectin. Abamectin. Okay. It was uh, two days. Was it just needed? Yeah, yeah. It was on Thursday. Yeah. Needed. It was on Thursday. Yeah. So it was nice to come up Tuesday. Tuesday. So what's the normal interval in three days? At least we were spraying. Because some are spraying a day. Ah, at least we were getting jam twice. Mhm. Yeah. Beyond young and the station cool is a problem. Yeah. Uh -huh. But in a city so you can still like we've been doing improvising okay, so we spray to the interval, maybe after seven to fourteen days. Yeah. Uh, but in this case we want to, to do the next one now. Yes, so tomorrow would be ideal. The other one that I wanted to spray in was Nimbesidin. Okay. Because the mesidin disturbs their living, it creates kind of like a waxy layer. A waxy layer, like that. Uh -huh. Did you try it before? Yeah, I did not come up. I tried the mesidin two times. Then I tried to get a bamekti. Funny how small, very very tiny creatures would cause such menace. Yeah, and they are the biggest threat to onions. Yambo bow being a inner wood, eh? Eh, no, 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 no,
and in wow. the end they used so. Mm-hmm. Oh, they are there? Yes. Yeah, so I, I actually sent you a video. Uh-huh. So, I am pushing a tree stick. So that's a good sign, Tyson. Yeah, it is. You know? Yes. Yeah, this looks like it's actually coming out of the ground. Yeah. Yeah. I want to reach the ones which are better. You said one, two, three, four, five. And then... Think that these ones, these ones are better than me. This one is better to pay. Okay, so I can draw a trist man, you can get a good every week. It's a chai, it's a so new owner, then it's your kumbu is at your date, not chai, teach, and so into at least a change. It is because you must make one egg. So, yeah, no man was kind of not about was pray. I'm come back to a window, go in dog. Then, for granny is that we can see the sea. Mhm. For both granny is out of the only thing. One already. My own. So, we can see that so at least in that you need to go to the minimal channel. I share the one of the money. <laughs> so, so yeah, this week it is a fertilizer schedule. Always the only phase. This is about the same phase. But it's only the phase. I see the week. Kapena na stache on papers nine because of my pressures. Na kambati this week is teacher fertilizer schedule. Yeah. As long as he. As no, as it is a faka, as long as it is a more faka, then even if we talk in the morning, uh, it's okay. But now, when I go in a good to balance up with a chaco, my pair of my sprayers, the moon, my tangany and witches, and my insects, so I put a mini up where I each day, buffer, buffer. So I put a chair, manje ma my insects, I see the south bocha, I am a punk side, so melon fried. So at least, that pass a good chance to push me to win. Doti, where are you from? Yeah, I come from the city of Doti, Pu, Janaku. Mhm. Because when I come, I come sand, come yellow, but I come to come to my clay, come. Yeah, come to the red, red. Yeah. Yeah, come. Even when I was filming that day, that Saturday, I was very happy, come. Then when you alerted me that there's a problem, come here. It's a thing. The other thing we can do, Kuja, is kufaka kwa yamene manure eja. Chicken manure or compost or just chicken manure? Chicken compost. Uh-huh. Chicken. So tiribe compost. Yeah. Yatandi za umumudi, mutudi. Yatandi za mutudiga. Uh-huh. Okay, Tiripa Dubai, Pama Onion, Tifaka, Chicken Manure. Ah, trips in a Yeah, size your mini, eh?
Il y a ma saïde au moins. Il y So we are here in Dubai, where we are checking on uh, the effects of our insecticides uh, and the progress of our, our plant growth uh, from last time. So uh, there is massive improvement in terms of the plant's growth. These are the first uh, six beds we are saying they look stunted compared to the rest. If you can see how green those ends are and how big the onions are, those ends. But we're seeing massive improvement in terms of growth here. The vigor of the plant it looks amazing. It's just how so much has changed in, in a few days, like three, four days. Yeah. So today, uh, we came through with the chicken manure. We applied the chicken manure in here that will help with uh, our, um, our nutrients, supplying our soil with nutrients. Um, the other day, we, yesterday or the two, two days ago, we were spraying uh, at Nimside. Uh, that was in response to our uh, infestation of thrips here so looking at what we have and what we had there's uh, a difference in terms of population of trips after scouting looking at four fives four five plants ten of them in number we are seeing massive reduction in terms of the infestation compared to last time well each and everything that you grab you will see something here. So we'll continue with the prevention and spring. Uh, spring for prevention and looking at, oh, they look clean, neat, uh, three free. Yeah, we'll continue so that we uh, achieve not really zero free uh, trip infestation here, but um, something that we can be proud of saying okay we've managed to control our infestation of thrips so farming is like watching a jurassic movie you start with all the nice stuff the ooze and ahs and oh my gosh wow look at that and then the pests come and you start all the blood and the guts and the screaming but we're here for the long haul this is our farm and this is what we've decided to do uh, for this part of our lives here on the Mondo Farms channel we always like it when you um, like the video is that right yeah like the video um, press the like button that's down there at the bottom underneath the video uh, you can also comment below if you have something uh, rather interesting to say or a relevant question you can also um, subscribe to the channel which we really appreciate because the more subscribers you have the more um, the Google alg algorithm, YouTube algorithm gives you respect and you can also share with others. So time for another quick update uh, here on the onions at Dubai. Um, so today we just yeah, just generally share with you how things are going. As I was saying, here is block A where our first batch of onions, uh, red creoles were, were transplanted and they're looking very, 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 very good. Let me lean down. Uh, kneel down here and uh, you can see behind me at least we've got some good growth hasn't started bulbing yet this onion has had so many challenges as we saw in the video uh, but we feel now that we're slowly getting into it we're reaching the end of the vegetative stage and we should be bulbing very 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 soon so we're here at Dubai block A where we are weeding uh, using uh, a weed a weeding machine. So that's King's Rock, our guy.
which makes his life easy. No tram will look on Tama Contamalo and do him tear his mom and a king. So, Kurina Tunang was storm. The Gutenga Kakambati Mukabotiri, I was in us. Nugunyamo loud. Pangono Pangono Mui Dinamo, Smamen, Nakwameno. Wakontamak. Could you then let him sign over? I get into the bar. Upeza balance, sir. I also from Coca Mania Maningi Pines, Smamen. Finias, Kaliba, eh? Manje problem, Munja. Problem? Kaya unga gamba tika chape buino manje problem uskari munga ni kambui di so visa me rafti fasti. Eh? Batika juwa sma me. At least the Sukumba Manning go to Mbononga Dodge. Manga Pape City, my very voice. Smame. Eh. Sifuni Kapa got the tears of my pinda moon. I find my way to the church to support. Sing the eight shows. Eh. Go to Kingsville. Eh. Voice of a choker. Oh, boy. Yeah, you would my weed up. Eh? So, Muka Botiri, put it in or try. So, we're here at Dubai Block A, eh? uh, where we are spraying uh, an inside uh, no business exercise. Uh, for the control of uh, various pests that attack onion. Okay. Yenda banji nchito. Ah, yenda bui. Yenda bui. Kaja kete na kamba kui dingi na keve matenga yo. Eh. Zenda won't say when them cutting a certain name of Kunum Kazi eating a copium cachaco, my drip, a cambosho commands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, yeah, yeah. Sachi, Mutasa got to Mozuzu to give him by, eh? But end up one in Sito. End the Everbuino boss. End the Everbuino. Mujai the manjo tidy raga. Eh? Eh, Jadija. No, the supper muzu at the Pafunquista so. Eh. Okay. Oh. 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 I'm going to go to the house. i the house. Oh. the house. I'm going to Mm hmm. Okay, you come my class B. Right. This is. Cha. Eh. Yeah. This is Dubai Block A. Onions, where we have our man, Mr. Piri Atlas, who is uh, controlling the drips and irrigating here. So he's one of our new guys who is in charge of uh, irrigating the guys that are being trained. A boss who told my mama Ganzilla, she knew just in Zera Soga. You can't go up with no maning, yeah. There's a guy on a man can go to oil. Catch up fast, yeah. Maning, eh? Maning, I'm going to be. Come on, to be, yeah. 
Yeah, my one. Smart. Look at the sharp, okay? Mm -hmm. well, I don't have programs with your father, okay? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So at least, I'm pushing it. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the Yambo pita mo chosa soya beans wakazi mo nzo chita so at least mo kareko vija mo kaguira mo pushinga eh eh mo pushinga mo pushinga mo pushinga vija ti donseko to my stories pango no matu i minka kuti pushinga kunchito eh finas my drips my drips are vala block because my drips ngati at Ati ni raso, manza nka di raso, onyo ni zao. Eh, so ma ma drips manzi nka leko ya sai sai so apa vara apa manzi ali ova. It's better apa nka ti parika join ni drip u imchinja ni kuma drip ma half u ichosa apa boera. Tiri pa Dubai, block A, Dubai block A, ti springa. Intro geo routine vegetative. In for Dubai, block A, this spring, paper blotch. So came from it using an hopsta. I'm waiting at just slow, slow. I'm waiting at just slow, slow. Spray go pants. Yeah. Super Dubai. Block A. This spring chemical in the site. But these new shooting ones are okay. So yeah, we can still go in with uh, the curative, which will also act as a prevent, uh, preventative. Okay, so you're talking about the the brown tips we had last week, yeah. which was the same purple blotch, yeah. which you are saying is on the old, old leaves. The and the new leaves are fine. So now yeah. when I am cutting. Mm -hmm. Copster again, not the surf. Mm, I'll go for the copster again, just for this last round. Then we can continue with the surf. What should it actually be in terms of the periodic, the preventative? The preventative. Um, uh, looking at what we have and what we're trying to achieve in terms of visit the the IPM and all. Um, the, um, for 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 the interval. A week, seven days is okay. That's what I think. Seven days is okay. Because too much of it is bad again. So. Yeah. What about the bulbing? The bulbing, the bigger guys, signs out there. If you look at them, you can even others are even bulging from the sides. So the bigger guys, Kuja. Oh, this was the problem area, Uno. Yeah. You're looking for bulbs. Yeah. Let's do some numbers in terms of dates. If this thing was transplanted um, mid February, mm -hmm. then where are we now? Apatakwanisa 
It's that's March, April, May, three months. And we're supposed to have six. Is it six months or five months? Mm. The six months to maturity from planting. From planting. So which means we have two more months. Yeah. Yeah. There's some big guys here, as you say. Hey? Mm. Now, if my leaves view onega, no onega. Yeah. That's onion I know. Mm. That's what I know in my life, in my Bible. Let's talk about weeding. Um, weeding, looking at how the onions have grown big and the cover is, we don't have much weeding here. But these guys are still around, the same evil one. These guys. Yeah, I mean, hey, you guys, hey. this guy. This one is that one. Yeah. Oh, that's the chick guy. I don't know whether whatever it's called. Yeah. So, Appa, this is evidence that they've been they've been pushing through my my roads with it, my stirrupo. Yes. Uh huh. But oh, more you vote. Oh, more you can't use that one. You can't use the stirrupo. So. So what they actually do is um, they uproot, they can be fine with this. So it depends if it's too busy with that tasking here to the road, because it's about multitasking. I'd like to come in with a thing, with the oxyfloin. In here. Which is for the same broad leaves, the same guys. We kill it and we forget about it. I want that one dead size. Okay, we can buy some more. There's a problem there? Eh? Yeah, it's hard to tell which one is the onion. Oh, it's that same problem we had here? Yeah. Okay. That's true. So, in essence, we're doing the oxyflorin in here. Let it clear these guys and hammer them. Have it clean, as they say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least do it as if we're taking them to the shore. Ah, uh, Dubai Block A. Um, onions, red creole. Uh, we are spraying, uh, a booster, Kyoki Max. Sorry, before we continue with B, we come back to A. Um, I'm Ishu Yama Fango, my brown tipsy. My new leaves here, we are the Gamma three psi. This time you didn't say that my problems. Tyson. But not your size size. What did we say? We're doing the lambda, whatever. What was it? No, it was the the one we put on the thing, the sauban. Yeah. Chloropiferous. Yeah. So we still have a minor Antoine uh, Kani weed issue yeah. that needs the ladies to come back. Yeah. Peters? Yeah, I'm going to it because I'm going to put it in my program. I'm going to put it in my program. So this is the afternoon. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Tyson, you said that it's now too late for oxyflor oxyflorin here now. It's past that car. How many leaves? Recommendation is okay. Like this one. Yeah. After that. 
fire. Last year to not try. Oxflurfin, or to not try check with fun. I was not for the HR yet. Even Bob Bingay, to not try. You know, say, Menza. No, no. The book versus the thing, eh? Ah, it's tough. You know what you do when you're not sure? You come and do some. Do a row. Pass it once, maybe two, two lines, and then see. Do a test, uh, test run. So my invader, Peters. Let's try actually testing. Okay, two lines. Then I put either or Say, okay, ten to chai. Wow, then we see. The discussion we're having was about whether or not we can put oxyfluorofen in this onion at this stage that it is. Because uh, the thing he says, do it only when it's at hook stage. But we've got a little bit of weed pressure here, so we want to push it in there. So, okay, do you follow the instructions on the label or do you do it boy? So what we said is we're going to push in, test this, uh, just come and pass through one here, two here, and then see how it goes. And see what happens to the thing, the onion. Because we had used oxyfluorophane at this stage last year on Riverside One, so it should be okay. Let's see what happens. Farming is full of experiments and always trying and taking risks. But Dubai, Dubai Block A. Watch our manual eating. Are you dizzy? Yesterday when I push my uncle, nine beds. Dubai block A uh, of oh, onions. And we've got our nice bulbs that are forming. Um, you can see the soil being ripped. Others big, others small. Like this guy here. So the bobbing continues. Uh, different sizes of bobs and the growth. So that's a very quick look back at some of the history of this crop. And as you can see, it's been pretty stable. Nothing major has happened. And we're happy with it now that we've reached the stage whereby we're even starting to talk about bulbing and harvesting. And uh, we're gonna have a quick chat with Tyson who's gonna talk to us about uh, some of the things that are happening, including some very, very, very good signs. All right, so um, as we can see here, we have a whole lot of activities going on. Uh, the first one is something interesting called splitting, uh, where you have one onion uh, growing up as one, then as it grows, it gets to split. Sorry, I'm trying to get the right angle. Yeah, it's tough with all this onion. Yes. So there are splitting, and we have a whole lot of them that are splitting from this one. You can check this one here as well. Yeah, that's, that's a better example. Yeah. This one here. There's another big guy there. Um, this problem has caused uh, a reduction in terms of uh, the bulb size because uh, instead of it growing one, it's splitting into two and it's sharing the food from almost the same roots. 
and um, you've got other interesting ones next to the guys that are splitting here that are bulbing and um, looking That's at... That's a nice big bulb there. Yeah. And looking at how uh, the neck is thinning out, which very, very soon is going to reach uh, the stage where it's dropping its neck, neck fall, which is almost about ready. So there are these. I actually find it fascinating. I didn't really understand the physiology of how uh, the neck falls. So basically it puts all the food down into the bulb. Then it cuts off supply from up here. Then it stores the food here. Then these guys fall off. Yeah. Yes. And when the neck falls, we are happy farmers. Yes. Then uh, from the two examples that we've shown, there's also another one here, which is uh, very, very interesting, where you've got a very, very small bulb down there. Then you have a very huge, huge neck. Um, instead of it supplying food down there to form a big bulb, like we've seen from that one, uh, most of the food is being stored up here in the neck. Um, I don't really know the scientific name for this one. I think it's called a bull neck. Bull neck. Yeah. Yes. So most of the food is stored up in the neck here and like in the bulb. Like you can see here down here. This is a small guy with him um, putting all its food down here. The bulb is forming and the neck is small compared to this guy here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, and uh, an amazing amount of big bulbs. Yeah, as it should be. Here's a nice proper, proper bulb. Wow, that's proper. Is this one, and there is another one, which is splitting. Yeah, it's splitish, sort of. Ampundu. Hope they don't start calling me Washimpundu. So we're gonna pull out one of these three-way splits and see what it actually looks like inside what we used to refer to with a man called Bemba Chap as under the knee. So, so I guess we have three smallish bulbs. Yeah, interesting. Yep, these are going home with us. So that's um, a quick look here on block A and generally we've got pluses and minuses and we're happy considering the background of this particular problem child where it is and where we're going with it. If you're enjoying this video please uh, press the like button that's the thumbs up uh, that it is and we'd also love it if you could subscribe to the channel uh, we always uh, appreciate it because YouTube will then put it into your feed and you'll get all our new videos which come every seven to ten days or so. You can also comment below if you have a specific comment um, something interesting that you'd like to share with other people and you can also share the video on your social media networks as well.